Drag and Drop is finally here in GarageBand iOS, so in this video I'm going to tell you everything it can and can't do. Let's go. With the recent update to iOS and iPadOS 26.1, GarageBand also got a new update, which included a couple of new features, including the ability to finally drag and drop from our Files app directly into GarageBand. Here's how to do it. Open an existing project like this one and make sure you're here in the Tracks view or create a new project by tapping Create Song and then scrolling across until you hit the Audio Recorder, tap on that one and then tap up the top here to go to Tracks view. Now the easiest way to make sure you can see everything is to grab the bottom corner here and drag up so that you've got GarageBand in a window like this. This makes it easier to then come down and open up your Files app. To do that, swipe up from the bottom and either find your Files app there or swipe down from the top and type the word Files and then tap on the Files app. Now, if your Files app opens like this in full screen mode, simply go to the top here and select this green button. This will actually turn it into windowed mode, and then you can move it around and once again resize it using the handles at the corners. Here in the Files app, navigate to the folder where you've got the loops or the samples you want to bring in. Here's my base samples, and all you need to do then is tap and hold and drag across and drop it into a blank space here. It will create a new audio track and drop your loop in ready to play. The other way to use drag and drop is with your sampler. To get to the sampler, hit the plus button here, scroll over until you get to the keyboard instrument and tap on sampler. By default, you'll get the bark sound. And then simply come across to your Files app, select a sample or a loop and drag it over. This time you wanna drop it right on the sampler track there. You'll know it's right because you get that little yellow sampler track icon there. Release it. And now when we hit a button, we get our sample. Now it looks like we haven't, right? There's a little glitch here. All you need to do is tap off and tap back onto the sampler track and you'll see you can now adjust the size of the sample and grab your handles and move things around and just grab the bit that you want and then be able to play it. And you're good to go. And finally, what you can't do with drag and drop is MIDI files. So yeah, you'll still need to import MIDI files using the GarageBand file import method here. And I show that in another video you'll find linked in the description because if we try and drag a MIDI project, a MIDI file over into our project, yeah, it's not going to actually work. So that's the one thing you still need to use, the loops option and the files GarageBand file transfer folder. Just hit your browse, find your file there and import it. So there you have it, a really quick and easy way to drag and drop files into your sampler or directly into your projects here in GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad. Heaps more videos and tips and tricks down in the description and I'll see you next time.